pass it over here then. If I get up, I'm going to fall on the heap. Take it. We excuse. Gonna regret this tomorrow and never smoke. Wine, beer, and grass the perfect recipe for a booming hangover. Have you got class in the morning? No, thank God. Nothing to worry about then. No, you come over and get it. I was worried you were going to say that. So you what, you lean forwards, and I'll lean forwards, and I'll meet you in the middle. As the actress said to the bishop. <laughs> so where's this thing you wanted to show me then? Oh yeah, the experiment. Experiment? Tell you the truth, Steve. I'm not sure I should show you. Why not? I'm into serious stuff, Steve. And I'm not ready for serious stuff. Is that it, yeah? I didn't say you weren't ready. What the hell is this stuff, then? You remember Cheryl? Of course I do, yeah. She won't be coming back next term. She's had a revelation. What do you mean? She was always so calm, wasn't she? Calm, cool and collected. She spent some time over here at the holidays. So you were going out together? So you do like her, then? She's an ignorant cow. She's pretentious. She's weak. But she wouldn't give. She wouldn't give a damn thing. What? She wouldn't screw, eh? Oh, no. She'd take off her knickers soon as look at her. It was a fear she wouldn't give. But I persuaded her, given enough time. I locked it away, you see, Steve? See if I can needle her into showing her dread a little bit. What's the bucket for? Cause of nature. I didn't want to reduce it to an animal. What's on the plate? It's steak. Well cooked. Slightly salted. Good meat. But she's a vegetarian. So she is. I locked it in there about five in the morning. She was sleeping. Carried it over the threshold myself. Very romantic. You locked it in there? Of course. The experiment. We talked about dread. She knew what I wanted to discover. Knew I wanted guinea pigs. Once she realised what was going on, she calmed down. I think she thought she could outweigh me. Nice picture, don't you think? She hated even the smell of cooked meat. She wasn't hungry then, of course. How long has she been in the room? This is only about 14 hours in. She slept a lot. But her body clock was confused pretty soon. How long was she in there? Till the point was proved. This was taken the following morning. Look at her eyes. She looks sick. She's just tired. Her body clock's all messed up. And she's hungry, of course. It's been a day and a half. I replaced the water whenever she was sleeping. She's one deep sleeper. I could have danced the jig in there and not woken her. This is where the cracks begin to show. This is where the dread begins. How long's this now? Coming on three days. You're looking at a very hungry woman. You're starving for Christ's sake. She can go ten days without eating. Faster common in any civilised country. It helps in no danger. About now she's starting to hallucinate. She thinks she felt something in her hair or on the back of her hand. I'd look at her sometimes and she'd be staring into mid air, looking at nothing. The meat looks ripe. Dark. Yeah, it's quite warm in her little room. There's a few nice big flies in there. They found the meat, laid their eggs. Is that part of the plan? Sure. If the meat revolted her when it was fresh, imagine disgust at rotten meat. The longer she waits to eat, the more disgusted she becomes with what she's been given to feed on. She's trapped, in one hand, the fear of meat, in the other, the dread of dying, which is going to give first.
she bites it. How long now? Five days. No, six. Every now and then she'd try to bargain with me to let her out. But then she'd lose it again when she realised she'd got nowhere. Look at the next one. It amazed me how suddenly she gave in. One minute she seemed to have got her resistance back. Then she broke and wolfed the lockdown like it was cake. Where'd she go? I left the door open. She wandered downstairs. She drank a couple of glasses of water, then sat at the kitchen table for about three hours without saying a word. Did you speak to her? Eventually, when she came round a little bit. The experience was over. I didn't want to hurt her. What did she say? Nothing. Nothing? She didn't even try and call the police? No. She knew what I'd done and why I'd done it. She come to know arm, you see. Once the threat was gone, she began to rationalise again very quickly. I cooked her some eggs on toast, she ate them and left. Don't know where she went. And what did it all prove? Nothing at all, perhaps, but it's an interesting start to me investigations. Start? This is only a start. Steve. Could have bloody killed her? No. She could have lost her mind and balanced her permanently. Maybe, but very unlikely. She's a very strong, intelligent woman. But you broke her. We talked about dread. It was an education for her. So now you're a teacher? Is that what you are? Yeah, I'm a teacher. I'm teaching people dread. I'm making the unknown known. Teaching people to go and find the fears before the fears come to find them. So you're happy with what you taught? I've learned. The purpose of any experiment, I've learned too. It's an exciting prospect, especially with intelligent subjects. Even in the face of rationalisation, Fear overwhelms all. The only problem is, I didn't take it far enough. Maybe if I'd taken it further. Jesus Christ, stop talking. I don't want to hear anymore. All right, all right. <sighs> Better be off. Got classes early tomorrow. Talk about some other time, yeah? No. What? No. Don't go here. Why? I I've got a book to give you. I've got a book on care to you up, mate.